Somebody asked in another video about how to program the automatic door lock features on these Forerunners. And since occasionally I like to help the humans, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Now, full disclosure, I actually had to look up how to do this myself because I haven't done this before. But good news is it's super easy. Now, if you're not aware, there's two different settings for the automatic door locks on these things. You can either have it so as soon as you shift out of park, your doors lock. And then when you put it back in park, then they unlock for you. Or the other option is they'll lock when you hit a certain speed when you're driving. I think it's like 10 miles per hour or something like that. So mine have always been set to be straight off when you shift in and out of park. And I just kind of got used to that. That's why I haven't changed anything. But today we're going to switch it over to make it so that they, they lock when you start driving. So first up, you're going to put the key in the ignition and switch it to the on position. And then you're supposed to shift it into park or neutral. I'm assuming just leaving it in park is going to be fine. And then, now here's the important part. Within 10 seconds of turning it to the on position for the ignition, within 10 seconds of doing that, you've got to press and hold this unlock button. Come on, focus. You gotta press and hold this for five seconds. Then when you do that, then the locks should cycle, lock and unlock to indicate that you've made a change. Now, if it's not working, chances are you probably didn't press that button and hold it for exactly five seconds. Apparently it's kind of finicky. You have to have pretty pretty darn close to exactly five seconds. Don't, so don't just hold it and for like 10 seconds thinking that's good enough. You wanna try and aim for five seconds. All right, let's give this a shot. So key to the on position. And within 10 seconds of doing that, we've got it in park. I'm gonna hold this. What do we got? We got nothing. Nothing. So you heard it lock and unlock. So that should indicate that we have made the change. So now at this point, mine should be programmed to be changing when I hit 10 miles per hour or whatever, it should lock then. And we're about to take it for a drive to find out. Now, I gotta be honest guys, this might take you a few tries. I just had to do quite a few takes on this video to get that to work properly on video. Kind of pathetic really, apparently I can't count to five. But yeah, if you're, if you're not getting it right, if it's not working, then I guarantee you it's your, your five second count that's the problem. So just keep on trying to get it right, keep on trying it, eventually you'll get it. And if, it, if the lock isn't cycling, then it isn't changing anything. So you'll know when you get it right, it'll lock and unlock. So let's take this thing for a drive and see if these locks, uh, well, I guess if they just lock on their own at 10 mile an hour or not. All right, stupid me missed it with the camera, but we're driving and the doors are locked. So I guess that shows you that they're changed. I don't know. That's how you do it anyways. But anyways, I gotta get out of here. If the Federale see me driving with a camera in my hands, then it's gonna be game over. So uh, hopefully this helped you guys out and I'll see you next week.